Okay. We got sound. Testing. One, two, handsome. Is it working? So. <sighs> Back to our default settings, bruh. Stop recording. It's recording. No, it had stopped. It had actually stopped. When I was like, what's up? Mm, what's up? It was actually about to save or some shit. I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, um, yeah. What up everybody? Um Brian Willis, no relation of Bruce, and uh welcome to another episode of Gloves Off ZW. It's going to be a bit windy, and I knew this was going to happen. It's starting to get windier. After we started recording, it wasn't this bad. And this is pissing me off. Because this is going to be feedback on the mic. Mm. Why are you boring today? What do you want me to say, dude? You know, I'm waiting for the topics. You see, this is why this guy... Okay, never mind. Let's, let's not do that. Let's not do that yet. Because I think some stuff hasn't kicked in yet. Yeah. Anyway, shout out to all the subscribers, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for the love and support. We really do appreciate it. T-shirts are still up for sale. 15 bucks a pop. You will look stylish. You will look good in a Gloves Off t-shirt. Either season one with the mini punches or the new one, season two, that says, are we recording? Yes, that's what it says for those of you who are semi-illiterate. Anyway, I don't think we're going to be wasting time today on the intro. I think we've wasted enough. Shall we get into the topics? for today mm -hmm. shall we start okay let's go <sighs> what up everybody i'm brian willis no relation to bruce <laughs> welcome, to the... and welcome to another episode of gloves off said w i'm here with my co-host Oh, some nice timing by that truck. Mm. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I think today we're just going to dive on right into uh, the topics for today. Uh, first on the agenda, uh, we had Madam Boss. Mm. Uh, we spoke about it briefly on the mm. last episode, but uh, we actually hadn't seen some of the videos. She actually did Zimbabwe Proud. She did. She, she did Zimbabwe Proud. Um, she was bright. Like, did you see she was wearing the national fabric? National fabric. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean fabric? National fabric. The the blue dress that she was wearing. Oh, it was designed in Zim. I don't know if it was designed in Zim, but it was made out of the Zim national fabric. Um, the whatever the thing she was wearing, it had the Zim bird on it. If you noticed. So how's that Zim fabric? That's the national Zimbabwe fabric. The national fabric. The national garment. I don't get what you're saying. Okay. So. Zimbabwe. Was it last year or the year before? They launched a national fabric. Where it's made up of Zim elements. There are many variations of it. There's the blue cloth with the Zim bird. All over as a pattern. What's the fabric made out of? It's it's just like, okay, you would okay. Let me not understand. That's what I'm saying. Ah, let me explain. Fabric. What do you mean by as that? As in, it's 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 national fabric. As in, the design is inspired by Zimbabwean elements. So the Zim flag, and the Zim bird, and blah blah blah. There's the one with the yellow, green, red, so and it's black. Like Zim like uh, design. Basically. It's it's actually Zim national Zim fabric. They all have the same design, but the design that you it's like. The, those Nigerian cloths that our mom likes to get, and then she makes her own outfit out of it. Yeah, but you can't say that. Yes, Nigerian it's actually 
fabric like okay like the nigerian okay, okay not nigerian fabric but the nigerian designs that's what i'm saying yes that's why i said national f zim fabric that's what garment. i'm saying like it's okay. not all right, the all right. Outfit, I, 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 I yes. get what you're saying but yes. like to me that the terminology is a bit okay yeah. so her outfit was made out of the national fabric okay i, I get where i get the yes. the, the resemblance that you're yes. saying but the terminology there it's a bit iffy for me no but you get it now i get it okay cool so she she represented Zimbabwe in that sense. Mm -hmm. Dude, you know, every time I go through these topics, I just want to ga, 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 but we always end up, anyway, like, like what I'm doing right now. But, no, anyway. but that was, that was No, you needed a, a, a good, ex it, no, it, it's good, item, it's a good yeah. question. It's yeah. a good question. So, yeah. It's, it's a legit question. Of, was it, was the item tailor made in Zim? I don't know who the tailor was, mm -hmm. but she was wearing um, a black outfit first, I think, for the pre-whatever dinner. And then for the awards, she was wearing that blue outfit okay. with the Zim uh, fabric and national design. I'm so happy that it didn't look busy because most of the designs that were coming out of that national fabric, yeah. It I looked did. nice though. It, no, that, the hers was nice. She, and whoever did her makeup, yeah, mwah, everything was nice. Thank on you. Point. At least yeah, everything. everything was on point. Yeah. She looked stunning. Yeah. That was that was that was beautiful. She she made a lot of superstars. Was, bruh, that's where that's when I was like really impressed. I was, like, yeah? I, I was happy for her. I was I was also and impressed. And she kept on like saying, "Yo, I'm from Zimbabwe." In everyone, every interview, everyone, she, she kept on saying. Yeah, just for Zimbabwe. you guys to understand, so she met up with uh, Will Smith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one was. She met up with Will Smith. She awesome. even got a kiss from Will Smith on the right. cheek. <laughs> She met up with Tyler, who was on the very controversial episode last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she met up with Blackson. Blackson? Murder Soccer. Oh, she met up with him. I thought I was dark. And then people started teasing me and said, but, You're so dark, you look like under the bed. But Blackson is a bit. He's, he's, he's not, he's not in, in media these days. He's so quiet. What's going on? He is here and there. Uh, he's quite quiet. No, she made up with Akon. Oh, really? Yep. Akon is still going to those kind of items. Yep. I and he, he was is... wearing a weird outfit, fam. I thought Akon is now more into the whole, you know. Akon City. Yeah, the whole economical, political type of stuff. Nah, he still, he still needs to make an, an entrance in those items so that she can, you know, she can, he, he can, you know, have an impact. You get that guy's trying to get our attention, ignore him. He was there at the awards and he was wearing this really weird outfit. Uh, white and these funny weird red shoes. The outfit was fine, but the shoes. It's like these artists, they do it on purpose to just wear something that, you know, you, so that you talk about them. Or maybe stand out. Stand out, exactly. She met Tinashe. Yeah, Tinashe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She met T.I. Wait, wait. Did you see the video before you go for? Which one? Did you see the video of uh, Tinashe and Hot Wings? No. Where she was said uh, she was asked by shout out to Hot Wings by the way. Do you know the program though? Yeah, where they're eating hot wings. Yeah, and shout out that's to the one wings. where Idris Elba is like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, damn. It. <laughs> yeah, shout out to that. That, that program yeah, is yeah, actually yeah. quite. Uh -huh. cool. uh -huh. Where she was asked by the host, uh, like, hey, uh, Tanasha, where are you from? And she's like, yeah, I'm I'm half Chakuti, I'm half Chakuti, I'm from Zimbabwe, basically. Mm -hmm. And then um, he was asked, she was asked, why why are we doing the he she mistake? What do you mean we? You kept Akon. You were calling him a her. Yeah, uh, because I'm just trying that, to. That's be, what, that's the I'm trying I'm to. Be, about. I'm trying to be inclusive. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> Should be inclusive. But anyways, uh, you, she was asked, uh, "Can you speak, Shona?" Oh yeah, and she she mumbled some gumbo. She and said that, that, she can no, sing no, a song or yeah, something. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tinashe, that was not a Shona song. I don't know what that was. That was. We 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 appreciate what you were trying to do, but that was not a Shona song. Yeah, she met up with T.I., okay. uh, Madam Boss, mm -hmm. and T.I. was the best dressed. Go away! We don't want to talk to you. Keep walking. Keep walking. My guy, keep walking. Let's We've talk, had this talk. discussion let's before. Talk, let's, talk, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. Thank you. Talk, talk. Ha! Yeah, and this is me off the way you can't handle you're this You're saying, you're saying, you're saying. T.I. was, um, just move. <laughs> Stop talking. Just go. Dude, just talk, bro. Just go. 
Just, just read. Hey, leave him. Anyway, speak. So, Ti, Ti, Ti. Oh, this dude! I swear, I'm gonna get up. Why would you be getting up, bro? It's like fighting. It's the same guy from Tinashe's that's place. A, that, that's it's I'm the saying. same guy, right? Yeah. It's like fighting somebody who's crazy. Why would you want to do that? Leave he's me. not crazy. He's drunk. He can't handle that's, his liquor. That's, that's partially crazy. So, hey, continue. Anyway. Um, T.I. Oh, oh, dude. <laughs> like every time I start <laughs> talking. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Anyway. So, T.I. to me was the best dressed. Okay. He was the most simple. Like, he was wearing this blue outfit with shorts and whatnot. Shorts. He he was he, he he was looking chilled, fam. Like he was looking like he just stopped by on his way to the grocery store or something. And I liked that look, to be honest. I liked that look. Everybody else had something crazy going on hmm. on that red carpet photo shoot, whatever. Hmm. And then um, she she had an interview with Ray J. Yeah, Ray J. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And on the interview with Ray J, she told him, "I want to meet Will Smith." I really uh, do. And she really met Will Smith. Yeah, that was cool. So shout out to Madam Boss, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, she came home to a hero's welcome. Uh, people were so happy to see her. Um, and then enter the haters. Mm. People were saying quite a lot of stuff prior to her going to the BETs. They, yeah, they were saying she wasn't invited. Yeah. She whatever. That we she, we she went for the, another in item. She was supposed to go for another uh, inter um, award, award show, show, but it was during COVID, so she couldn't travel. And then my TT was, you know, implicated in some of the hate speech that was going around about her not being invited but paying for her own ticket. But anyway, whatever, however she went there, she was there. Mm -hmm. She represented Zimbabwe and I think she represented Zimbabwe very well. Okay. But our fellow Zimbabweans and what having they that say? inferiority complex, people were now getting mad that why are we so happy about Madam Boss being at the BETs? She wasn't even a nominee or a winner of anything. She just attended them. Who, 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 who has gone to the BETs that we know? Zimbabwe, Zimbabwean. Mm. Uh... Did Anai Gurira win something with the BETs? BETs? Black, oh, black, black Entertainment... Uh... Did she? She could have. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know which... Because BETs is usually about the music, music aspect. Of entertainment. Things, yeah. It's it's mu music and movies. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's entertainment Yeah. by black people. Yeah. 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 I mean, but Nanae, Nanae has uh, done quite well. I don't know if she was at the BET. But I think so. Yeah, I've never seen she, her She probably would have been Chadwick Boseman for Black Panther. Yeah, but I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm stating like Zimbabweans. We've got, what's his name? Uh, Detective Davies. Yeah. Um, Tongai. 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 Tongai Chirisa. Yeah. We've got Tongai. Uh, I don't, has he been there? I don't I, know. I, I don't know. But those are people that are really putting them on the map in yeah, terms of that, their work that so they're that, doing. That, that's why I, I'm, yeah, trying, so, I'm trying to find somebody who so can So people were now saying that we've got people like that. Why are we celebrating Madame Boss when she all she did was just attend? But she's a she's socialite, a, bro. That's like, the you know. thing. That's the thing. She's living her dream. Yeah. She's, a she's really so. living her dream. I mean, if we were to like compare her with uh, my TT, who would you say is making bigger strides? Like in, hey. in the, especially in the like in the social, you know, the being a socialite. Socialite. She is international. She's, she's she's at the peak. So pretty much. Yeah, and yeah, I think. I mean, it's it's kind of hard. I, I don't know why you would hate on. So people that, were, were complaining but. that why are we celebrating her? And um, you know what? I don't understand why Zimbabweans we have this inferiority complex of wanting to pull down people there's nothing wrong with celebrating what she's done fine there are countries that have done way more and whatnot yeah but zimbabwe we celebrate in our own strides we celebrate in our own small capacity we are not recognized out there as any force to reckon with in any shape or form in any way shape or form so there's nothing wrong with us celebrating these what people may uh Put, uh, conclude as small wins there's nothing wrong with that celebrating as Zimbabweans I see absolutely nothing wrong with that I did however share their sentiments about this getting a bit over the top when there was a welcome home party for Madam Boss of which it's not the party that I had a problem with 
but the admission fee was a hundred dollars <laughs> that's why i was like ah guys aren't you kind of like milking it now like we'd love to support her but hey to those people that could afford it i suppose they went they had limited seats and shadaya was one of the people who were invited and he was happy to attend and hope will hit shadaya back and he's like isn't this simp behavior you're paying a hundred dollars to just go and see another woman what's the difference between that and the women that are paying a thousand dollars for a chris brown photo shoot i don't know dude like i think it's Zimbabweans, we have an inferiority you, 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 complex. You, you said actually a lot. I wanted, I wanted to touch on a lot of things, but I do want to disturb you as well. So, uh, that's, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Okay, the, the yeah, like, uh, okay, basically in general, what I wanted to say is, in terms of hating Madame Boss, I mean, you have to have already hated her since, like, the beginning. That that she's... That... Ah, boo! Not even. <laughs> Not even. <laughs> like I wanted to. Say. Like I wanted to say, um, you have to have hated her from like way back. So no matter what she does, you just gonna. So yeah, because I mean, it's it's really I mean I whether whether whether, whether you like from. whether you like socialites, whether you don't like socialites. I mean, she's somebody who's actually made strides in her craft and she's done well for herself. So, even if it's just saying, ah, kudos to her, man, congratulations. Without you commenting, I mean, you don't have to comment. Or drag her down. Or drag her down or say any neg negative or comments. It's yeah. just a matter of just leaving her in her spotlight. And you let the people I mean? who like her, like her. Yeah, and if, if, if she's big enough to charge, you know money at a welcome party and the there thing are is people it, who are actually you going see, you see that that's the thing though it's not madam boss that's charging she has a company that that does her pr yeah that's the company that's been sharing all her videos yeah, and yeah, stuff like yeah, that and yeah. blah and i think they're doing a splendid job this is going to make madam boss her price just went up yeah, but you said you got a problem with it though. with what with the charging fee of a hundred dollars yeah, i thought the... that was a bit too much for the dinner I thought I thought that was she's, a bit too much. In terms of no, in terms of um, like uh, endorsement for products locally, Madam Boss's uh, price just went up yeah. because of those BETs. That's what I'm saying. As for the party, a hey, hundred dollars, or maybe I'm but just speaking. But people who actually um, paid. Maybe that's what I'm saying. Maybe I'm speaking from a broke person's perspective. It's not from a broke person's perspective. It's from a perspective that you don't idolize madam boss but there are certain people that do i don't idolize then, her i celebrate her yeah and then there are some people who actually would pay that hundred dollars if you got people who actually whether it's 10 or 2 or 3 they actually actually pay to actually go for that hey bro why not no but i don't encourage people to idolize people though no i'm saying that they see her as a role model fine okay yeah, that's what i meant maybe if you put it that way but zimbabweans i really feel like we've got this inferiority complex that needs work Crab mentality. Yeah, fish in a barrel. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, crabs in a barrel. Yeah. That's the yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's that's the one. Yeah. So yeah, people were eating on her and and blah de blah blah. Um let's move on to the actual BETs. Mm. So the BETs happened and Yeah. Did you see the opening act? Who's it? Who, who opened the opening up? Taraji. Oh yeah, Taraji. Yeah. Taraji comes in with her remix of Not Like Us from Kendrick Lamar. She comes in dressed like Kendrick Lamar and she is rapping her own version with It's About Us. And you know, she flipped the lyrics to, you know, to be about her and what she's done. About them. About and what she's them, what she's achieved people. and then about black people and you know, what, what we've gone through and where we've come. The journey we've traveled and it was actually quite cool i mean it was it was a it was a cute it was a cute little raps you know it was cute it was it was nice she got it for for somebody so who's not started talking about asha bro what did she say about asha asha the was also one of the, the people that give me your flowers or not Asha was one of the people that Madame Boss met, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah the whole uh, we're giving you roses and then she said a statement whereby asha is one of those uh 
men whereby you kind of think of you know leaving the current man that you have for like you know is she married no i'm just saying like why can't I say that kind of station? Well, like, those are the kind of... Like, okay, anyways. No, hopefully cool. she didn't mean it. But, you know, yeah, these things... Yeah. I feel like when people are there on those podiums, they tend to, like, kind of, like, go off the top a little bit and just say things that are a bit too much. She said a couple of things that, you know, I was like, did you have to say that? But, but yeah, she was... I mean, she was... I cool. guess it's for the sake of entertainment. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I and guess, their some humor people, is different from ours. But yeah, and people, I feel like people get a little bit over the top mm-hmm. when they're on the spot, you know, just like the whole Chris Brown photo shoot. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I think those women, some of them ended up thinking, snap, should I have taken this picture? After the fact, but during the moment, because hormones are high and stuff, they don't really think about it. So I think, you know, it's the same thing yeah. when you're like in front of a lot of people, those uh what are those hormones called the um, what's that uh, adrenaline yeah the the adrenaline rush makes you like uh go a little bit over the top and then you start thinking about it after the fact and you're like uh should i have said that yeah and I, i'm not i'm not saying i'm not i'm not saying what what she said was you know that outlandish i was just like you know is it necessary little, there was just those little i was like okay is it is it yeah, necessary it so, yeah no no i get you i get you tyler uh tyler was also there she had a beautiful performance mm-hmm. uh she performed with uh gunner and uh skilly bang what um, do you think is tyler uh, t- uh Tyler is Tyler. Oh, Tyler is an artist. She's from South Africa, yeah. She's from South Africa. Yeah. What do you think? I, I think she, she seems like it's, uh, uh, the states has actually embraced her. I feel music. like Tyler is a very good artist. However, I feel like she is. She. I feel like she is a token artist to Americans, as in. I feel like she's just one of those artists where people like her because she's African. And now she's portraying Africa in a way that America wants to see Africa. Do you get what I'm saying? I get you. Like Tinashe. Tinashe she's Tinashe been, is she's, not African. Nah-uh. No, but no, nah-uh. I'm saying I'm saying I'm saying Tinashe has African roots. But that she but uses that. She does use it, yeah. but she's not African in any way. Whereas really as in her music. No, I'm just her saying music. her as a person. Because at least with Tyler. She's 100% she, she, She's from Joburg and blah, blah, blah. You really? get what I'm saying? Yeah. She grew up there. But I feel like she has kind of like uh, metamorphosized her music to suit the global scale to the expense of really expressing what being African is about. Did you, did you, did you, did you listen to her prior? Like, did you listen I to only her? Know, I only knew one song. Because I, I didn't... Her performance, the song that she sang... I felt there was a tiger in a cage. Mm. That's one. Mm-hmm. Are there tigers in Africa? No. Mm. You see now. <laughs> the tiger was made out of humans, by the way. For those yeah, of you who don't. Cool. I like the, the tigers. Tail. Yeah, they, it, was, the yeah it was made out of humans. But yeah, my point is, it's like Black Panther. Black Panther is a cool movie, but it's Africa the way America wants to see it. Every African who watched that movie, fine, we celebrated the wins that it came with, but every African that saw that movie had reservations about certain things. For example, when those uh, leaders were in their meetings and they're speaking in English, as Africans, we all know that doesn't happen. Well, this is where we actually had this. And that typical African accent. Wait, before you go. Like... We, that's when we, we actually had this uh, conversation and I was like, that's when it was about, I think it was uh, about the woman king mm-hmm, mm-hmm. when we did a movie review about the woman king. Yeah, they were speaking in English. Yeah. And then that's when I was like, yeah, um, oh, damn. Here. Sorry, we can't talk. <laughs> Sorry, we can't talk. Mr. Brian. Mr. Brian, we can't talk. We are on a Zoom meeting. We're on a Zoom meeting. We can't talk. You good? Ah, okay, cool, cool. Otherwise, you're good. How are you? Thank you. <laughs> so, like I was saying about the woman king, mm-hmm. um, I was like, that's their depiction of Africa. 
in a digestive way where the where the whole global can uh, the whole globe can actually no, then, w- then i ended up saying if you want a pure item that we have to tell it then you you do it we have to tell it yeah, yeah that's true we have to tell their story because you know i had this discussion with my wife in the morning and she was like she gave a very good example about french movies russian movies japanese movies chinese movies Mm -hmm. they have zero care about what the world how the world views them they express themselves the way they want the world it's about they want the world to see them the way they want to be seen not about them expressing themselves in a way they want the world to see them that's what i'm saying that so it's we up to have you. to tell our own stories yeah, it's up to you so you can't bash them for telling your story I'm, I'm not really bashing them i'm just saying i feel like a lot of our african artists have been diluted to cater for the global market because that's where they went that's they where went they, to, they, yeah they went to america they, they, so america's got their own standards if they were if she was to stay in Joburg. And do own which thing. is which is why I have a lot of respect for artists like um, Davido. Davido. Fine, they Burner do. Boy. Burner Boy. Casper. They they Casper, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. They they maintain their roots in their lingo, their accent, and whatnot. That's just who they are. They don't feel diluted. They feel authentic. Mm. Whereas these Tinashes and Tyler and I'm not saying they're bad artists Tyler's not a bad artist she's not she's very good but I just feel like she expresses herself as an African the way America wants to see Africans not the way Africans want to be seen by America that's that's what I feel like yeah, compare cool. her with an, a South African artist like uh, Brenda Fassi no, that's that does comp- No, that's Brenda a- Fassi was international, but yeah, but, but she was different. she was African. No, but they're completely different, different in they're, terms of. In terms I'm talking of about genres. it. No, genres doesn't matter. I'm talking about expressing yourself. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, their genres are different, but she expressed herself as an African. Yeah, but that's Yvonne what I'm Chaka Chaka Invo- expressed no, herself. Listen, that that's the market they were targeting. They were talking targeting South Africans, right? Tyler, she's gone to an American market, so she has to dress herself up. In a digestive way, whereby Americans can actually embrace her. You like know what I mean? she's African. Oh, nice. That's why I feel like she's a token African artist. Yeah, that's why you can't you can't pick her with Brenda Farsi and all those other guys. Yeah, that, you can't. Anyway, uh, Will Smith performed his new song. The video that you sent me didn't have uh, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I'm sorry. So um, I just saw uh, Will I Smith. Uh, Will Smith standing on stage with Kirk Franklin with, with fire just going. The song was okay, but it was kind of cringe. What was he singing? Was it a new it's, song? It's, yeah, it's a new, you know, inspirational song. And look, seeing Will Smith rap again. They're trying to bring it back. No, I don't think he should come back to that. It was a song featuring Kirk Franklin. I don't know. Or it was a Kirk Franklin song featuring Will Smith. I don't know. But um, the song was called uh, You Can Make It. And that was the first time it's ever been performed. Somebody made a comment that made me realize, that made me not be able to unsee it. Oh. They said that the performance looked satanic. What was with all the flames? Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. And I couldn't unsee it after they said that. It was a bit iffy for me. Because now after you see that, you're like, oh, yeah. That's kind of like, you know, yeah. it's scary. It's 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 scary, um, and then there was the one thing that made me like realize, hey, this world is we we're reaching the end of the world. So Tyler won best new artist, mm. and one of the nominees was Sexy Red. But Sexy Red is still a new artist. I don't know, whatever, but whatever, she is, apparently. Sexy Red was one of the nominees, and Tyler won. Now here's the kick. People were complaining about Tyler winning Best New Artist over Sexy Red. Yeah, because I, I don't, I, I didn't know Tyler before that though. 
Sexy no. Red, I, I know her, but I don't know her music. Ev- exactly. But That's yeah, probably but why her. you're saying that. Yeah. No, I think you knew Tyler's song. Make me now. Oh, that one. Make me. You I probably, You know, Tyler's one of those people where if you hear a song, you're like, oh, Maybe she sang that. She knew her. That, yeah. no, so you no, knew I, her. I, knew, I knew a song. She's a way better artist, fam. Sexy Red, have you heard her songs, fam? It speaks to the message. She can't even sing. She can't sing with them. And she does not represent black culture. Well, she's, it's not, she's, she's not singing. She's an artist, isn't she? No. She raps, isn't she? I don't know what she does. She's she terrible, fam. Whatever she does, she's terrible. Do you, wait, you can't say whatever she does. She's terrible. She's terrible. You don't even know her music. I've I mean, listened to some of what, her what, tracks. What's, what's, what's her genre? The, it's okay. said singing. She sang, she sang on this uh, other song uh, with Dr- the song had Drake on it, if I'm not mistaken. Because I think uh, Sexy Rich is more of a rapper. She even performed the song. I think she's more of a rapper than anything. But anyways, she we're, performed the song, fam. We're, we're, we're speaking about and an she artist can't that sing. we don't know about. Yeah, but, but, but then anyways, she's yeah. terrible. Like she does not saying. represent black culture. She represents the stereotypical view of what other races see about blacks. Blacks twerk for money and whatnot. And that's that's bad. No, I don't even, she's pushed by the machine. She's clearly a plant. If you listen to her music, you'd understand dude, where I'm coming I, from, fam. Dude, I know. She's terrible. This is why I'm saying I know Sexy Red. When you're saying that she's pushed by the plant. But, no, 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 no. You said you don't know her music. I asked you. I said, do you know her music? Some of it. I've heard yeah. like two I know, three I, tracks. I, I've heard like, you know, some snippets on TikTok of her rapping and stuff like Is that. Is she good? Huh? I don't listen to that new generation. I can't say that she's bad. I, I don't listen to that new she's generation. She's terrible, I'll tell you. Well, I don't listen to because apparently she's, cause she's very popular. She is very popular. Yeah, so, and then a lot of her music, a lot of, you know, some of these artists that we say are ah, dead completely crap. You know, the baby face, the Christian blue or whatever. Baby face? Yeah. Baby face is a... Uh, be careful. I don't know. Because like, you know, Babyface is an R&B artist no, from I'm, way back. No, I'm saying, I'm saying there are certain... Is there a new artist called Babyface? No, I'm just saying. But I'm saying that they're they are these new generational artists. Oh, so Babyface was just a name you checked out? I'm just... Yeah, I'm just checking There's out. an artist who's called Babyface. Okay, I'm just checking That's why I'm out. saying. Yeah. So disclaimer. Uh, yeah, I'm saying. I'm just saying. You didn't yeah. mean that Babyface. I, I don't know. I'm just saying. They, dude, I'm saying there I is I just a, said I, I okay, don't so know that, that artist, name. dude. I just said I don't know. I don't know. I'm just checking out names. No, Babyface exists. That's what I said. I don't know. So change the name. Ah, dude. I've already said it. it's not like you're gonna cut it out. <sighs> what is what is wrong? No, with I'm you? saying could you disclaim? Ah, dude. Because baby- anyways, I'm losing trains. I'm saying there are more these new generational um rappers, right? They're catered for the new people that we don't listen to, but they're topping charts. They're breaking sales. They're topping, you know, uh, on Spotify and all that stuff. No, you got a point there. So you can't say that. I, I can't say that, you know, um, Sexy Red is trash because she and, is trash and then there are people that listen to her because she she peaks even Spice. I Spice. Ice, yeah, I Spice has good songs. <sighs> Like I, I, I she like, has songs I, I, where you you know as much as some of the music is not for us. If you do listen to it, you're like, hey, this is this but is, if, this if, is catchy. If, if, if there are people that actually you know like you know that whole twerking aspect that you're saying, and you're saying no, she doesn't represent uh, us as black people. But there are people that are saying yes, that's who we are. No, that's not. There's a there's there's a class of people that say they, that's they, who they are. It's terrible, fam. Uh, uh, so you can't say that. Like she's got backing of certain people. Uh, you get what I mean. Yeah, that's you should all I'm see saying. the people that back her up. That's yeah, but that's their life, cause she lived that life as well. That's all ah. I'm saying. It's 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 crazy. But anyway, some of the winners uh, at these uh, BET awards: um, Kendrick Lamar won Best Male Hip Hop Artist, uh, Regina King won Best Actress. For what? That's exactly my question. Uh, maybe we're out of tune. So let's not smash her too much because I don't know what she did recently. Um, so yeah, uh, Scissor, female R&B pop artist, um, Denzel Washington won Best Actor. Best Actor over who? I don't know who the nominees were, but I'm trying to think what movie did Denzel act in recently. And then Asha won Male R&B pop artist. Uh, Tyler won new artist and she also won international act. Okay. Nicki Minaj, best female hip hop artist. Uh, and Makadzi won 
best new international act. So who's Makadzi? The South African Makadzi, the one who did a song with Ja Preza. Oh. The one with and the, the BATs. She she won at the BATs. Okay. Um, the one with a very humble face. Okay, I, I can't. I don't, you remember? I don't, no. What what does a humble face look like? It's very humble. What what does a humble face look like? She has a humble face. Anyway, <laughs> before I get more controversial, uh, let's move on. Uh, Kendrick Lamar, mm -hmm. he dropped uh, the video for Not Like Us. And ladies and gentlemen, Kendrick Lamar will now be known from now on as Kendrick Ama. Yeah. His name is now Kendrick Ama. Ask the question again. Do you just answer, dude? Why, Why is he now called Kendrick yeah, Ama? I asked you. Yeah, right. Okay. Because Drake took the L. I don't get it. What do you mean you don't get it? What do you mean Drake took it? It's now called Amar. Kendrick is now called Kendrick Amar, not Lamar. Because Drake took the L. Dude, just move on. Move on. Yeah, that's move a move fun one. It's a good one. No. It's a good you one. Can't, you can't be energized over some. No. <laughs> that was a good joke. No. Though. Ah, that continue. was a good joke. He forget. dropped the video, mm. and there was the first 20 seconds. Over if that track. is now Kendrick's new sound, no, I think. It's not new sound, dude. He's no, 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 no. Been no. Like that, no, dude. no. Kendrick. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> that, that was no, no, no. You no, can't, do, do no, you know what the thing no. is, Brad? You know what I like about this this version of you? You don't listen to Kendrick. I don't. So why? And that, the, the reason, so listen, 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 listen. <laughs> the reason why I don't listen to Kendrick is because he doesn't sound like that all the time. Ah, hey. No. The beats. The beats, fam. The beats. He doesn't sound like I'm, that. I'm That's not this. his regular sound. I'm talking about I'm talking about the way Kendrick, that, this is why I'm always saying Kendrick is experimental. He's an experimental rapper. He's conceptual, extremely conceptual. Yeah, he's an experimental rapper. So <laughs> when you say it, oh, that's that's just him, bro. Like he goes through phases whereby he's he's making these adjustments and, and he doing switches, this, right? Okay. And, what and, and usually it's all about the beats that he switches up on, and as well as the storytelling. Um, no, but then what schemes. I'm saying is his beat selection usually is not like not like us. Not like us, that was proper beat selection. And that new song that he premiered on the beginning, at the beginning of Not Like Us, the video, if that's his new sound, like mostly throughout the album, whatever album is coming, I am here for it. I will switch to be a more of a Kendrick fan than I am a Drake fan. Dude, you're, yes, you're, ladies and gentlemen, you're, you're really I am sounding, more of a Drake fan. No, you're really, you're really sounding like you're switching sides right now. Like you're no, saying, but, ah, dude, you took your L. I'm going to the winner. Oh, Drake. Yeah. No, Drake lost the battle, fam. No, there's no. There's I'm no, saying good in I'm, terms I'm, of no. You're saying that no. I'm now leaving his whole catalog and I'm now switching over to no, Kendrick. But, That's what you're saying. No, but, the thing is with Drake, I've never really listened to him after Take Care. That's the thing. Even Kendrick, watch on footy, I've barely ever listened to Pimp a Butterfly for me, dude. People big that album up. I tried. That album, I cannot. I, I think, cannot. I think, I think Damn was his best. Damn was a good album. That Mr. Morale and whatever, again, I tried. It yeah, had Mr. some good tracks. Mr. Morale was dope. It had, it had some good tracks, but... Is it it's 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 better than To Pimp a Butterfly, confirm. His last two albums, Damn and Mr. Morel, those were better than To Pimp a Butterfly, right? But a lot of people will say To Pimp a Butterfly is Kendrick's best album ever. And uh, honestly, mm. I do not agree. Okay, that's 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 them. But like yeah, but like okay, well let's go on to the video because time is not right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, the video actually beat Eminem's Houdini. Oh really? Twenty-four hour streams. Ooh, that's pretty cool. That's that's huge. Cause what you need to understand here is one, Kendrick switched up the style. That song is dope, right? Two, it's a diss track, right? Three, this diss track made people realize just how much how many people hate Drake. 
right? And four, Drake asked for this. So all these four factors would definitely push the numbers on that song. Yes, Drake fans, Kendrick's huge song was given to him by Drake. But yeah, Drake got his... Anyway, you were saying... I wasn't saying anything. You were about to say something. I don't think I was. Yes, I was, you were. No, I wasn't about to say it. I'm just here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm still waiting about the video. Because we're talking okay. about the video. We, okay, so we're went talking... Off topic. No, we're not talking. We're not off the... It's still about the video. Uh, okay, so there were plenty subs in the video. Mm. I'm just going to talk about a few. There's a part when he does the push-ups. Mm. That was a response to Drake's drop and give me 50. Mm. If you counted those push-ups, he did 17 push-ups. <laughs> Do you know why he did 17 push-ups? Yeah, you told me earlier, but then it was yet. Yeah, he does 17 push-ups because Drake does not like anything that's over 18. <laughs> that was crazy. And then on the part where he says probably struck a chord and it's probably a minor dude does the crib walk on a hopscotch chalk outline that was the crib walk oh by the way kendrick if that's how you play a hot scotch uh, then you, you suck at it by the way because you're supposed to tata one foot one foot two feet one foot one foot one foot not the way you did it. But message received. We get what you were trying to say. <laughs> and then um, he brought plenty of gang members together. Crips and Bloods. Uh, the way you packaged that, bro. That was... <laughs> what? I said the way you packaged it. What? He, he brought a lot of gang members. Together? <laughs> yeah. No, no, that together came later. It took like years. What? I said you brought a lot of gang yeah. members? Yeah. Together, I didn't say it like uh, that. Mm, you don't like. We can rewind, yeah, you're playing, you're playing. rewind and watch it, right? And then his wife and kids jumped in on it and were creep walking everywhere. Okay, I, I want you to finish. Yeah. Okay, and then there was the owl in the cage. I don't think that's much of a sub. That's pretty as directors. As if, pretty much as the piñata owl that he was beating up with the wop 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 wop. Oh, by the way, wop 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 is W O P. It stands for without papers, and that was Kendrick making fun of Drake because Drake is Canadian, so he was saying he's in America without papers. So I heard. Yeah, from what's his name, that comedian dude. Yeah. 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 I think I think um, on the video, the video was cool. Yes, there were some breakdowns. For for me, some of them were were too like um. They were too what can I say embedded in the video. You know, you had to learn a lot of stuff. They too deep. Know it. Yeah, they were too deep. That's Kendrick. I think that's pretty much Kendrick's downfall yeah, most of the time. No, no, no. He gets really. too deep with the concepts. Not sometimes. Not, not really, because like it worked very well for Ch uh, Childish Gambino in. Uh, this is America. This is America. Yeah, that, that took the whole nation by storm. Every time you watch that video, you saw something new. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's it. it like those subliminals, when, when they're done in a context that is, you know. In a proper way, yeah. yeah. Mm. So in the in the video, I, I thought, yeah, I thought most of, a lot of the stuff that he was going to be saying is was going to be literal, but yeah, he went like a bit subliminal. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I wanted, I, I was hoping to see when he said, uh, you Malibu's most wanted. See the movie, some wanted, clip yeah, from the some movie, clip, yeah. Even the, 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 the actor himself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wearing you guys, chains or something. For you, you know. guys who don't understand that Malibu's most wanted line, look for the movie called Malibu's Most Wanted about this fake white gangster who thought he was a gangster in a movie or something mm, like that. Yeah. Watch the movie. So yeah, like I, I thought I thought he was gonna do some 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 more, you know, intricate things in terms of like in your face type of stuff. But yeah, most of it was subliminal uh, and um uh, shout out to the people who did the, you know, the breaking down and saying some of the meanings of the stuff because for sure some of it like blew past us. But I think uh, the two things that uh, that really um, took the spot was uh, was Kendrick's uh, wife. Yeah. In the video, you know, saying that, look. Um, Is she by herself? No, she's with this. Okay. Uh -huh. Like uh, the whole uh, thingy whereby uh, they were dancing together drake said like ah 
you got you're not even together with your wife type of stuff you know so he did that just and then, to you know, shut you, him and up and then they were having fun it was and then you're a fan you're a fan there's a fan spinning in the city <laughs> you know <laughs> so yeah it was it was it was it was it was it was there was awesome. a lot yeah, happening it was in a, the awesome, video. That was a lot a, that was a wholesome scene what about I the part it. when you spoke about hiding the bible yeah, and then yeah, yeah. have the Bible and God. <laughs> the way you did that, that was funny. Hiding the Bible and God watching. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Beat your ass and hide the Bible. So, and then uh, the whole yeah, the last uh, item of the owl in the cage, and it's like dumbed down. It's like hey, that over. that that owl is a paid actor. Yeah, family. it was Did you see that? Over, yeah. The way it looked at him, and it was looking at Kendrick. And then it looks at the camera, and yeah. it's like, what so, just happened? So like this is what I'm saying like yeah those two scenes they were they hit hard yeah, yeah they hit hard yeah. the the video yeah it was cool you yeah, the Oscar right. part hit hard fun. yeah it was it was it was I liked it it had certain references where it's only like Compton would really understand he was on he was, yeah, was in the so, wood shout out to you guys people it, were it, making it fun out. of Kendrick that he paid a cop or the sheriff or whatever hundred and twenty dollars per hour for protection. And they're like, oh, why are you getting paid that in the hood? Well, no, I, I don't blame him, fam. You guys, you want him to act tough. And then when he gets popped and his family has no father, you're going to be like, oh, man, another one down. No, I don't, I don't think he's a cow. He's smart because, you know, it's real out there. So he has to do that. Yeah, so, no, the video was good. It was, it was, it no, was. the video was epic, fam. Yeah, I, was I, I loved that video. And it was directed by Kendrick and... What's his name? Dave Free, if I'm not mistaken? Mm, I don't know. I think it, but Kendrick I think, was one of the directors. And, and that video, I think it was, like, the... It was, it was short in, a, what, three weeks? Two? It was quite short, the timeline that they, they did the whole... They shot the video soon after the performance, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. The live performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not three weeks. So it's like it's like two days. One and a half days. Fam. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, days. Shot the video in days. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Eminem dropped the song for dropped a new song called Toby, and um, it it was supposed to have a video drop on Friday, which is yesterday now, but. For you, you're watching this on a on a Monday, so you know the last Friday. That's when it was supposed to drop, but then it didn't drop because of Kendrick's video. Mm. By the way, the irony of Kendrick's video dropping on the fourth of July, which is America's Independence, and he's calling Drake a colonizer. The irony of that. Anyway, moving here. <laughs> Moving on to Eminem, uh, so the song features Baby Tron and Big Sean, and yes, I know a lot of you were confused as to which part was Baby Tron, <laughs> which part was Big Sean. Baby Tron and Big Sean sound like the same artist, both cadence-wise, lyrically, and their names. Yeah, they I rhyme. Can't, I can't, I can't Baby make... Tron. Ba I I Big kinda, Sean. I kind of lost the the test. He yeah. Did a test earlier and said which one. Who, which who who's ba the... Big Sean? And he yeah, yeah. he the parts he thought was Big Sean was Baby Tron. So yeah. But yeah. Like Big so Sean. Big, Sean is, Big Sean is good. No, Big Sean Baby is different. Yeah, he, he actually came up with some bars. He was, he was good. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. M, M was good. I mean, it's a it's a it's a it's a deep rooted rap track. You know, it's not something that you would play in the club or, you know, it's something that you... you... I think it's a soundtrack for Spider-Man. Yeah. The, yeah, the there's, beat, the beat there's, was There's definitely, definitely a Spider-Man movie the beat that's was coming yeah, because... with, with that song. Because why Tobey Maguire was bit by a spider, but see, me, it was a goat. Because, like, did you check out and the... And then the artwork for the song oh, Spider was the famous Spider-Man meme. So I think there's, there is a Spider-Man movie that's coming. You check out how the beat was just was like increasing tempo. Like notice, notice we got two minutes left. The beat is steady building up, like a villain about to come in, and y'all know who that villain is. <laughs> Throughout the whole damn song. Why is the song increasing? It's like, like the it's, villain it's not, is coming. It's not. It's not even. It's not <laughs> even reaching a peak, but it's just like gra it's like gradually going up. So. And then when it gets to Eminem. So yeah, it was dope. Eminem like, goes last. 
<laughs> I liked it. it was no laugh shack? Tell them. If a nail goes last, hashtag. Y'all know what to do, gang. Y'all know what to do in the comment section. The comment section. If a nail goes last. Exactly. Hashtag Eminem goes last. Okay? And when Eminem, like, okay, fine, I'm a stan, I'm an Eminem stan. I get it. You people are going to think I'm biased when I say this. And I like the fact that Eminem did not do his, you know, super, you know, like, I like the fact that, no, I want you guys to really hear what I have to say. And he was very clear. He was very concise. It's short on battery, sorry. And he spat a lot of it's flashing. And he spat a lot of facts. Okay, so let me let me let me let me let me be quick on this one. Uh, there was a line where he's talking. He's talking about the Spitfire. He's like Spitfire. I was just flying coach. People say Eminem spits fire. A Spitfire is a jet. That was in the war some years back, or kamikaze, I think. World War Two. World War Two. World War One. Or whichever, yeah. right? And he's saying yeah, I was just flying World coach. I World wasn't World even. He was saying I wasn't even at my peak. That was that bar. But the bars that people want to hear are. He went at everyone above him that was put on the top. Um, he's he was put on the. On the. Let's put on number five on the BET. Well, no, it wasn't BET. It was uh, what was that? Is UK it? Top Hundred? No, 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 no. Um, what's it called? It's it's um, is it Rolling Stone or something like that? No, it wasn't Rolling Stone. It wasn't Rolling Stone. I forget. But yeah, I'll put it up. Uh, he was number five, and above him at number four was uh Tupac, and Nas was number three. Kendrick was number two, and Jay Z was number one. And Eminem said, it's funny how everyone that I've ripped is above me on the list. That was a shot at Jay-Z, Kendrick, and Nas. Because with Jay-Z, Renegade. With Kendrick, Love Game. With Nas, EPMD 2. Right? Nas not a shot, though. It's with, it's no, he, 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 it is a shot. No, it's a fact. It, it's a fact. It's, it's fact, but it's a shot. Yeah, right? Know. So it's up to Jay-Z and them. But people are saying that he was really focused on Jay-Z. Right? And I thought that was a bit of a reach because there was the Empire State Lines where he says, I've slept on more floors than the Empire. Fam, we're recording, fam. We're recording. Okay. So, what please. Please. Right. My guy, please. My guy, just... No, 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 no. no. Please, we're recording. Please, later. I have a problem. Okay, next time. People said, right... Um, he was going mainly at Jay-Z, mm -hmm. right? He was going mainly at Jay-Z, and I thought it was a bit of a reach. Who's that? I don't know. Damn. I thought it was a bit of a reach with the Empire State building lines and blah, blah, blah. And Jay-Z is number one on that list. Mm -hmm. So I thought he was going at Jay-Z, Kendrick, and Nas. Mm -hmm. Not just Jay-Z specifically. Mm -hmm. But then, somebody pointed out that the track is exactly 4 minutes and 44 seconds long. Yeah, what's his name? Uh, Jay-Z's last yeah. album is 444. Subliminals. Do you think Jay-Z is going to respond? Uh, I don't think he should. You'll probably get bodied anyway. I don't, no, I don't, I don't. I don't think he would get... I mean, it'll be, it'll be something to mobilize. It'll, it'll, it'll be, be entertaining. Nice. It'll be dope, but hey, we've already had um, Kendrick, Kendrick and Drake. Um, so you do no, want but... to see another legend go down? Ah, shish. Can you stomach that? And you know what? I think Eminem has beef with Jay Z subliminally. Do you know why? Eminem has got beef with a lot of people. No, no, no. Subliminally, do you know why? Because of the Super Bowl. You heard the story behind the Super Bowl. Jay Z asked Dre. To be at the Super Bowl And Dre was like He's bringing his top artists Right mm -hmm. And when bringing his top artists Eminem was one of them Right And then Eminem said He wanted to put 50 Cent And Jay-Z was like Nah we don't want to have 50 Cent Because Jay-Z and 50 Cent have beef And Eminem was like If 50 Cent can't be there I'm not coming Okay Which was bad for Dre Because Eminem is his most successful artist 
okay. right? So Eminem gave 50 Cent part of his time. That's why everyone did two songs, but Eminem and 50 Cent did one each. Because Eminem gave 50 Cent his time. So how does J or how does M have beef with uh, J? Because J has beef with 50. But that, it's nothing to do with him though. Like like And what, also what, and also and also to go after him. And also and also if you've noticed Jay Z refers to Eminem as the white guy. The white boy. He the white, white boy. boy. Yeah. yeah. Why and fifty cent asked this question. Why do you refer to the biggest artist, the biggest rap artist as white boy? Why can't you say his name? So I think there's something going on there definitely. Yeah, but, but I don't think I don't think I don't think M M is more petty than that. Super Bowl? No, nah, M is petty. He's not. He's not even. M has got a lot of artists that he's that he's ready to smoke <laughs> over some petty stuff. So yeah. Ah. Anyway, I think we can end today's show. Uh, there's no movie reviews. L- did you watch anything? Exactly, so there is no movie review. Uh, wait, you can't, you can't dismiss me. I did watch a couple of stuff. Ah, no, we don't want to be talking about things that I don't know that are that are not on the so screen. Why, are you asking why me? didn't you tell me that you no, watched but Why are you asking me then? Okay, they, they, but I you told asked you this. and then you dismissed me. No, but then there is no movie of the week. No, but you asked me, did okay. you watch anything? Okay. And I'm I told so- you, and you're like, ah, why do you want to Sorry, speak? sorry, there's no, there's no movie of the week. So, what about song? There's no song. Did you watch any song? Yeah, I did. Which? Hmm? Which one? The Tyler one. And... Uh, Kendrick. That was supposed to be song of the week. Kendrick's. No, no, no not, not like, like us. us. Yeah. No, that was the topic. Yeah, but songs of the week are meant to be local. Oh, you didn't tell me that, did you? Okay. Anyway, songs of the week are meant to be local songs. That's where we push our artists. Okay. So yeah. there is none of that. Um. Anyway, thank you so much, guys. Thank you for the love and support. Uh, t-shirts still on sale. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Please subscribe to the channel, Gloves Off ZW. Share it with a friend. Comment, like, say something. If you want business with us, that's our email. Those are our contacts. That's my Twitter. That's my Instagram. That's my TikTok. His are a bit different though. What's your TikTok? Ah, I haven't used my TikTok in ease. Clutch popping. What's your Twitter? I haven't used it. What's your X? My ex got got car kind of shut down. Shame. So, so yeah, that's it for today's episode, guys. Thank you for the love and support. We really do appreciate everything that you're doing. Take the mic with you, dude. You're closing the show. Oh, oh, oh. Hey yo, hey yo. Brown Willis up in this bitch!